Hello. Is anyone actually here yet? I can't remember where I put the camera last time for star crawlers. Let me look around. Looks like I had it in the bottom right last time, too. Close that. Hey, Monk of Destiny! Just making sure everything's working. Uh, let me know if the uh, audio levels are weird or anything. Hey, Sfax! Alright. Cool. Alright, I've got my game that I had saved before uh, from two weeks ago. Let's continue with that. So George, who's the lead on the development team, uh, I talked with him after playing last time. He said that they've done some fixes uh, to have the enemies like do more damage and have fewer hit points. So, or maybe take more damage. I'm not really sure what number he actually changed. But anyway, the idea is that he changed stuff to make. Uh, the battle's quicker and more exciting, which is cool. Who's got an ability point? Oh, cool. Smuggler. All right, so we've got uh, Akimbo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I like this one. I think I, th I thought I did this one. Oh, you know what? Maybe because of the update they did. They may have changed some things, so I was. may have been. the uh, ability points may have been reset. Let's see here. I kind of like the coin toss thing. I, re I really like uh, introducing random elements into a game that's not normally random. Credits to invest in the demise of a target. Oh my god, it's so cool. Alright, definitely gotta do that too. Can't do it yet. Probably need to increase this. Oh, I see, yeah, we have to make this arrow get there. So I'm gonna do one in akimbo, and I'm gonna I'm going to specialize. Baracus is gonna specialize in cheap tricks because this is my favorite thing ever. All right, so we've got all of our characters now have their powers all given to them, yes. <clears throat> so, for those of you joining, uh, if you don't know me, uh, my name is Ben Prunty. This is Starcrawlers, which is a game I did the music for. Uh, I also did the music for FTL and Gravity Ghost and a bunch of other games that are not out yet. Let me see here. Uh, I suppose we could actually, you know what? We should buy medkits. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. We could probably sell all this too. What do we have for money? Ooh, boy, we really don't have much money. Let's go and sell some stuff at the store. Right click to sell, yeah. Flickering shield, I think we can decide to get rid of that. Drained psychers. Stats change of Baracus. Equips. Let's 
Cell value zero. That's no good. Oh man, a lot of this stuff is zero. Okay, so actually, it might even be worth it to keep this stuff. I don't know. I'll get rid of this counterfeit heavy weapon. Let's go back. Can we use your upgrade station? Oh, interesting. I'll check that out later. Let's buy one med kit. And we'll do one of the randomly generated missions. So we've got normal, easy, challenging. Let's do a normal one. And these have better pay. It has worse pay. Let's do this data recovery. The primary objective, protect the scientists while they download the data from one secure terminal. Let's do it. Take the whole team. So I don't know how many of you guys were here for last night's Resident Evil 4, but uh, it was awesome. And we will be playing more Resident Evil 4 uh, tomorrow night. All right, let's keep going. Always check the garbage cans. Ooh. I can never remember all the hot keys. Let me uh, look at the keys. Controls, find keys. Info menu, ability, inventory is B. I guess that's like backpack. Resume game. B, yeah, backpack. Two shield charges. It's kind of not so great. Oh wait, no, that's for something else. Hey, Thoslack, Thoslack, Thoslack. Thank you for joining. All right. Hey, Master Sword. credits. I got five bucks. I can buy me a space latte. Or a Java Nova, which I got for free. Mangled coupling, lucky charm. Sure. Let's go over here. Dang, Molten Mocha is worth 15 credits. Nothing there. Interstellar coffee theft ring. Indeed. There seems to be a big industry for coffee in the Starcrawlers universe. So many streams. What are the what are some of the other streams going on right now? Ooh. Oh god, I just got attacked. Alright, we're gonna do. I'm gonna drain this thing's shields, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Bolty! Oh, Bolty. I need to deploy Junker. 
Alright, prototype. Oh yeah, we're gonna charge arm cannon because that's awesome. Alright, we're doing a doing a coin toss. Ah, uh, well, okay, that's not bad. Oh, a charity stream. Oh man, I can't compete with that. Do coin toss again. Nice. Arm cannon. Man, I love that. Alright, Junker's gonna taunt. Oh, hey, uh, Gree Gree. Uh, yeah, the. My live streams are kind of late, uh, and I would love to do them earlier, but I can't get other people to play with me uh, at earlier times. So, uh, yeah, they always tend to be a little bit later in the day. Uh, the battles do seem to be a bit punchier, uh, like quicker. Coin toss! Counterfeit shotgun. Take it. Data chip. Sweet. So, yeah, I, like I said, I would love to do more live streams earlier in the day, because I know it's, like, hard for everyone to join in. Um, but I can't get co-hosts if I go any earlier than what I do now. Tomorrow I'm doing 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time, which is just about as early as I can do. I Maybe in the future I'll be able to get... Um, I'll be able to get Allison to, to join earlier. But, you know, most of my friends have, like, normal <laughs> day jobs. Uh, and they have to, you know, go to work 9 to 5. And so I can't get them over here any earlier than like six or seven. Enemies! Blah. Uh, this track that's playing right now for the battle music seems to be so far the favorite of players of the game. Deploying Junker. Can do Drain. Ah, oh, miss. Charging the Arm Cannon, which is my favorite. Bolty's gonna punch something. Yeah. Alright, we're doing Coin Toss again. Yeah! We're gonna do drain and try to get this. Ah, didn't work. Perhaps something swell. I love that line. Yes. All right, we're gonna go taunt. Grinder is your favorite track, Master Sword. I don't even remember which one's Grinder. It's one of the other battle tracks, I know. But. Bad luck. What does bad luck mean? Damage taken increased by 50% for one turn? That's awesome! Man, coin toss is the best! Alright, we're going to do Shadow Bolt. <laughs> Trembles nervously. Charging that arm cannon. Coin toss, yes. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Set the alarm for 4 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, uh, that's rough, man. I will do my best to have earlier streams in the future. Yeah, the, um... George is right, the battles are definitely faster. Hey, Map and Salinge. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize if I'm butchering your name. If, if I'm butchering anyone's name. Very sorry, right up front. Drain. Um... So, uh, if anyone has any questions about the, the music, or uh, soundtrack production, or game development, or anything like that, feel free to ask. Or like, workflow, any kind of question. Oh, coin toss. Um, this, this live stream is definitely here for like, um, it's, you know, it's supposed to be fun, but it's also like, educational. Um, so, if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. Scientist cowers in fear. Oh, that's right, yeah, I'm, I'm a little behind, but I generally upload all of my live streams to YouTube. So if you miss any, you can, you can see them there. Um, coin toss! Thanks, Master Sword. And welcome back, Spax. Alright, charging arm cannon. Oh, hey! Uh, yeah, keep at it. I know it's like, doing covers is super hard. I'm really bad at doing covers. Gree gree. Um. Yes! Um. But, I'm glad to hear that you're still working on it. And yeah, when you when you finish it, feel free to like share it, post it online, uh, share it with the live stream even, post a link. Thanks for your music to work. Oh, cool. I'm glad you work to the music a lot. That's I, I get that a lot from people, and it's uh, it makes me super happy. Yes. Deploy junker. Maybe I'll just shoot things. Yes. Double damage. Charging the arm cannon. Two, and this one's at 471. Okay, so this will this will finish them off. Boom! Uh, the the guys who did the mu uh, did the sound effects for this are a, a group called Power Up Audio, and they are amazing. They did a bunch of sound effects for lots of different games. Um, they're basically like the definitive indie sound effects guys. Uh, they've really positioned themselves well. And they do great work. Coin toss! Uh, Grigory asks, what is your favorite song created by you? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um... Oh boy. Yes. 
Uh, I, there's a lot of stuff that I really like in Color Sky. Um, I have favorites from like each of my projects, but I don't know if I have like a definitive favorite. I used to back when I had, had a lot less like work. Now I have such like a mountain of stuff; it's hard to choose. Uh, I really like. Uh, the Dirty Space Jazz tracks from this soundtrack a lot. That's some of my best work. Um, and of course I can't re remember any of their names of the tracks. Um, I also really like, say, like Metro Molecule on Color Sky is a, f is a personal favorite. And uh, Renegade on Color Sky is another favorite of mine. Cred Sticks. And did I see another one? Hiding out. No, that's it. And these can't interact with them. Uh, I used to really like uh, Love Story on Chromatic T-Rex was a favorite of mine for a long time. I think I've like moved past that one. It's not quite a favorite anymore. What we got here. Should we sell a bank account number or just access the bank account ourselves? I'll leave this up to you guys while I try to remember some other favorites of mine. There's a lot in Gravity Ghost that I think is like some of my favorites. I really love, um, oh, what's it called? The Mystic in Gravity Ghost. And I love that one. Like I put it together and like thought it was so cool and then hated having to wait like years for anyone to actually hear it. <laughs> so we've stumbled on a bank account number and we can either access the bank account ourselves or try to sell the bank account numbers or I suppose we could leave it alone and be like nice people nobody access it alright you got it master sword I'm doing it. Several minutes trying to... Uh, we can't do it. Alright, well, we'll just take it and maybe we'll sell it later. Bear stashes it. Oh, I think I see money on the ground. And people are really, like, cavalier with leaving money around in this universe. But I guess that's the same could be said about any... Any video game universe. Oh, cool, yeah, you should check out Chromatic T Rex. It's also free, so you don't have to pay anything for it. Uh, you can just download it right from Bandcamp. Uh. Go, Bolty! Yeah, it's, uh, Color Sky was like is some of my favorite music that I've done. I feel like it was a pretty strong concept album. Uh, it took me a while to make it, but uh, it all came together really well. Let's see, a coin toss! So what does that give him? Dodge boost. Drain. Ah, oh, miss. And we'll destroy him. Oh, miss. Oh, that's the worst. Hey, Lid Flipper. I've seen you before. <laughs> hey, thanks, Grigri. Taunted do. Taunted force target junker when using single target attacks for one turn. That is awesome. 
<laughs> hey, thanks, Master Sword and Sfax. You guys are awesome. I'm so happy <clears throat> to have made you guys uh, uh, moderators. Charge an arm cannon. sell all this stuff. This is great. We can afford to pay for this, all that medical care that we usually need by the end of a uh, run. Alright, let me uh, let's see here. Okay, let's go down this way. This way. Oh god. Or Junker. Bull, he's already deployed. Charge that arm cannon. Yeah, I freaking love the sound effects in this. These Those guys are amazing. Um, I believe they also did the sound effects for... Um, I'm just gonna shoot him. For uh, Towerfall. And a whole bunch of other games that I, of course, cannot think of right now because... I'm a space cadet and I forget everything. <laughs> Miss. Uh, Master Sword asks, do the battle tracks play randomly in battle, or does it depend on what you're fighting? It does sort of depend on what you're fighting. There's some randomness to it. <clears throat> um, like... Later in the game, there are like creepier, weirder enemies, so there's like uh, specific music for them. And oh, like this is the music that I had intended for robots, for example, but we just sort of like have been using other tracks for it too, because you know we don't want to have just the exact same battle music playing over and over again. Arm cannon. All right, lid flipper. Oh no, wait. Thalslack asks, "Do you know when the game is coming out?" Uh, I don't know specifically, but I've been told uh, they're definitely wrapping things up and like getting pretty close to like finished state. But uh, I can't really say when it's actually coming out. But they're definitely like they're making good progress, getting closer to the end. It's great. Uh, Lid flip. Oh yeah, and it's in early access right now, so you can play exactly the same thing that I'm playing right now. Perhaps something swell. Boom. Uh, yeah, you can you can get this and play it right now if you want. Um, it's in a totally playable state. It's really fun right now. Uh, totally worth checking out. Uh, alright, so Lid Flipper asks, Ben, do you play your guitar tracks or on guitars, or are they synth? Um, 
the guitar parts, which are in the space jazz part portions, and I think that's it. Just in the jazzy tracks. Uh, those are from Scarby Funk Guitarist, which is like a, a funk guitar tool. Um, and it combines like samples and like a oh hey somebody leveled up uh it combines like samples and i don't even know how to describe it it's incredibly complicated but it basically you you get like uh you set up this instrument and you get grooves what they call grooves on one part of the keyboard and chords on the other and you set what you want you like map it out on the keyboard yourself so you have all these different rhythm parts that would that a guitar player would play and then you have chords that you set up on the other keys, and then you just you can play it, and it will play the different rhythms at the right at the chords that you set. It's really cool, and it and it took like a year to make. It must have been an incredible amount of work. And it's just this one funk guitarist who recorded like every possible chord at every possible rhythm, at every possible like velocity and uh, tempo. It must have been insane, and it's super fun to play with. Uh, I am currently learning guitar on my own so that I can play it, play parts for my own music, and do the live show that I've talked about. The longtime fans know that I've been working on this forever, uh, but it's still a while to go. Whoa, Blasto! Oh, man, he attacks. Oh, that's so cool. But then Bolty has Rocket Elbow, which is pretty cool. I think I'll keep going with Bolty. Give him Rocket Elbow. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, the guitar that you might have heard in Chromatic T-Rex is definitely just, like, me on a keyboard playing, like, uh, a synthesized guitar thing. Not a real one. That's really old stuff in on Chromatic T-Rex. Grigri asks, Ben, are there any <clears throat> specific methods you use for coming up with ideas for melodies for your songs? Uh, generally, I always start with a chord progression first, and then write a melody around it. Oh, there's something over here. What is this? Oh, there's something I'm... Oh, darn. Go for it. Hey, we did it. Now we got to get the agent to an exit. Um. <laughs> so yeah, I always start... I generally start with chord progressions, although <clears throat> sometimes I might start, like, writing a bass line or something and then, like, go from there. But yeah, the easiest way for me to, like, make cool melody is to start by making a good chord progression and then melodies are much easier when I already have a structure to fit them in. So I'll like come up with a chord progression either on my keyboard or on my guitar or uh, I have this really cool like iPad tool called uh, Polychord <clears throat> and you just like you give it a uh, a key signature oh yeah activate rocket elbow <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you give it a, a key signature, and then it maps out all of the chords, and then like other chords that are similar to it, and then you can you can select them <clears throat> and hear the chords. And I use that sometimes to come up with chord progressions too. But, uh, yeah, loop flipper knows. Allison just came home. Hi guys! <laughs> uh, Affin Salinch says, I would like to hear some work of yours on more ep epic action pack games. Have you any genre of game you want to work on personally? 
I just saw you have a lot of projects going on. Uh, yeah, I've always wanted to do a horror game. Uh, which is why I made the Dark Window album. Because I wasn't working on a horror game and I wanted to. Uh, <clears throat> trying to think of what else I would enjoy. Let's see here. <laughs> you should do a Serious Sam. That would be interesting. I do love Serious Sam. I played through the first Serious Sam like, I don't know, two or three times. Whoa, oh, we just damaged everybody. Oops. Thelslag asks, who is your favorite music guy, in quotes? And have you worked with other music guys? Uh, I have not really worked with anybody. I, I work alone. Uh, um, other favorite musicians are, I really like Jeremy Soul and uh, I love like all the old Castlevania music. I was just listening to, Alice and I were listening to Castlevania 4 in the car today, earlier, it was awesome. Um, I have, no, who, oh, here we go. Spurs. Consume 30 void. Okay, we should do some, one of these because then we can actually, like, use this void energy that we're, uh. Uh, this void energy that we keep accumulating. Um. I've hung out with, uh, other indie game musicians, too, and they're all really cool people. Uh. Rich Vreeland is an awesome guy. Uh, he's a disaster piece. And, uh. Danny B is super fun. I think I want to do this one. Have enemies attack each other. Yeah, this looks cool. Whispers. And then... Haiku.exe. Activate and to generate and recite haiku composed from randomly accessed memories. <laughs> Probably inspiring the team for three turns. Oh man, this is amazing. I think I might have to do this one. through here. Oh, can we go? No. Yes. Anything in here? What? Empty. Alright, whatever. Oh, it's another bank account. We'll just take the hollow recorder and sell it later. And an enemy. Rocket elbow. And I believe this is the track also called Rocket Elbow. Strain. Ah.
How much hit points does he have? Yeah, that's good. Finish him off. Uh, let me ask you guys, what are uh, some of your favorite soundtracks? I always like to hear about what people like. Usually I've found that people usually have a couple of, like, ones that you expect, like, people will be like, oh, you know, I love Zelda or whatever, because it has amazing music and everyone loves that. But then they'll, everyone always has some, like, unusual, unexpected one that, like, other people don't really know about. <laughs> Thanks, Master Sword. All right, we're going to do this haiku. Engines burning out, drifting through the void we wait. Sensors... Ah, oh, I missed. I couldn't read the whole thing. Did it inspire everybody? No. Haiku frailty. Damage taken increased by 5%. Wah, wah. Yeah! Oh. Oh, I just meant, I meant in general. Like, what is your favorite... What's everyone's favorite, uh... Soundtrack? Not just mine. Shadowrun run Dragonfall. I'll have to check. I'll have to check that out. Mass Effect Two. You got a lot of those. Yeah, Chrono Cross is amazing. Definitely. Oh, stuff. Take all. Hmm. Oh, Monk of Destiny, definitely uh, Lone Survivor, super good. Um, I would love to do music for a game like Lone Survivor. That would be amazing. <laughs> Katamari Dama, see, that's also really good. Um, yeah, I like Risk of Rain, it's really cool too, definitely. Arm cannon, my favorite. Go Balti! Seventy percent accuracy. Yeah, we should stun this guy. Bam! <laughs> oh, the sounds are so good. Oh, the terrain just doesn't work. Oh, he has stun resist. Okay, well, we won't use that anymore then. Yeah, I freaking love the engineer because you get to deploy all these robot friends. Wait, that didn't do much. Mario Kart 8 Jazzy, you know, I still, I haven't played enough of Mario Kart 8, I bought it and we played like one night, like we had like a sort of a Mario Kart party, we all played it together, but I was, I gotta admit, I was not really paying attention to the music, but I bet it's really cool. Of course, Earthbound. Earthbound's my favorite soundtrack. If I had to pick a soundtrack, it would definitely be Earthbound. It's the best one. You know, I keep hearing stuff about Nier, and... Uh... You know, I just realized when he talks about his errors, he does it in haiku as well. Yeah, I hear, I hear Nier has a really cool soundtrack, and it, and it sounds really cool. I, I feel like I need to, like... Check it out, like, it's a game that did not... 
Like, I know it reviewed really badly when it came out, but I'm, I'm feeling like maybe it didn't get uh, a proper chance. Um, I'm definitely a big fan of, like, finding games that are underappreciated and... and, uh... bringing them to other people who haven't seen them yet. Man, this level is huge! Okay, let's make our way back. Go down this way and to the exit. Oh, hi, MC. MC Yichi? Master Sword is uh, very good at spreading the word. For those of you who don't know who I am, uh, my name is Ben Prunty. Uh, this is Starcrawlers, and I did the music for this game. And every every other Wednesday, I play like one of my games that I worked on, and like answer questions about the soundtrack, and uh, sometimes give out download codes, which I should probably do since I said I would. Let's uh, finish this mission, and then I'll give out some give out some codes for you guys. Oh god, this is a robot. Uh, Map and Salunge says, Have you ever made music with a singer? I have not. Uh, years ago, I once sang on one of my own tracks. It was really bad, and you will never ever hear it. Uh, but that's as close as I've gotten. Rocket elbow! Look at all the stuff we have. Ashki does very little damage. Do we have any other swords? I guess not. Oh, we have all the stuff to sell, too. Yeah, we got so much loot. Loot for days. Uh, but first, let's uh, give out some soundtrack codes. Give me just a second here. Here we go. So I want to make it so that eventually the uh, the the hub world, which we're in right now in the game, will have like a certain track in the beginning, and then like as you get further in the game, it, it like will unlock more space jazz tracks. Right now, it just plays a random one from the three that are available, but I'd like to have it have a sense of progression. Dashboard. All right, here we go. Soundtrack download codes coming your way.
And I will give you uh, information on where to redeem these in just a second. And then... Here we go. That's where you go to redeem them. There's the little carrot thing. Alright. Let's get back to the game. Here, we got lots of loot to go through. Plus 25% time limits. She's got heavy armor. Ooh, this one's way better. Uh, don't worry, I'll post them. I'll post a couple more uh, download codes before the show ends, so you can check them out later. Uh, tomorrow will be the dev stream, right? Actually, tomorrow is the more casual stream. I'm going to be playing uh, Resident Evil with Allison. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Oh, there's so much stuff, it's like uh, a little bit overwhelming. I guess we'll give her some heavy armor. Seems like it's uh, nothing but uh, better. Uh, if you get a code, can you send it to someone else? I'm not actually sure. All the information would be on the page when you redeem it. Like, I'm not really sure if it's going to... Oh, whoa, nice. This looks pretty good. Do that, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, don't, I really don't know about if you can send it to someone else or not. Uh... I will have to I'll have to look into that later. See how that works. Uh, yeah, no more drunk and afraid. Uh, we decided that it was not sustainable to keep drinking uh, and playing. Oh, who? Here's a good question. Tholsek asks, uh, "Have you seen It Follows? I think it's really cool that Disaster Piece made the music for that movie." How have you or do you want to make music for films? Uh, I have no... Like, I love watching movies, but I don't really have the same kind of passion for movies that I have for video games. So I probably won't be doing music for films ever. Um, it's not really my... Not really my thing. Um... But, I mean, I suppose if, like, the right thing came along and I was just, like, super stoked about the movie or something, I might do it. I'm not going to say, like, I'll never, ever write for music write music for, for uh, movies. But, yeah, it's not really something I'm, like, super excited about or interested in. Um, but, yeah, it's really cool that Disaster Piece made the music. I haven't, I haven't really talked to him since that, since he did that. So I'll have to ask him, like, what the experience was like as opposed to... Uh, <clears throat> writing for games, although I'm sure he's probably answered that in interviews a lot already. Alright, I'm gonna go get rid of some of this junk. Yeah, for sale. I have, I personally have a bunch of stuff to sell. Alright, I'm gonna this pistol, this old plating. I'm gonna sell a bunch of these. <laughs> Does this even do anything? This weak SMG. <clears throat> we can sell all this, like these minerals. Uh, data chip, nice. Hollow recorder, yes. Get rid of 
this counterfeit rifle, refurbished weapon. Hollow display, tactical armor. Hey, thanks, I'm glad you like the hair. King of the jungle. This rusty pistol. Whoa. Oh dang. It's only twelve dollars? Oh no, it's scoped shiv. What about these? Eighteen, that's it? Hmm. Definitely buying that. I'm glad you like the drunk stream, but uh, it's not going to happen anymore. It's not sustainable. Ooh, this looks cool. Maybe we should get this for... Yeah, we'll buy that for the... For the thrasher. And we'll buy this. Man, why is this stuff so cheap? Maybe they just haven't figured out the economy for weapons and items and stuff? Alright, first of all, shotgun for bear. Uh, we'll do the right, the Auric rifle for Thrasher. Yeah. And the new, the blades for Ashkey. There we go. Anyway, okay, so we got sold a lot. Upgrade station. I don't know what this is. I don't even. I don't even know. All right, we can do another asset recovery. One fifty. Oh yeah, let's do this one fifty one. Accept. Oh, hang on. Before we do this, let me make sure everyone's healed up. Let's buy another med kit. I think we all heal up anyway at the beginning of before mission between missions. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's take a mission. Oh, hey, Westbrook. Thanks for coming back. Oh, so this track that you're hearing now is the first, I believe it's the very first track I did for Starcrawlers. And it really helped define like the sound that it would have. Whoa, hammer, paired blades of the bear, pistol of the bear. There's a lot of bear stuff, and it's awesome. Oh, see you later. Mappin' Salunge. Thanks for coming on the stream. Oh, no. It's a trash can robot. I'd like to uh, take a moment to point out how awesome the animation is for these little guys. For the trash bot helper when they hop up and kick you. It's pretty amazing. Uh, let's deploy Junker. Alright, I'm 
fire that arm cannon. Well, the Buster Bot's actually pretty low in hit points, so we'll try it on this guy. Finish him off. Yes, I did announce on Twitter that there was some FTL music news coming on Friday. Um, I can't say what it is because I've been sworn to secrecy, but I can tell you what it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not FTL two. <laughs> um, as far as I know, there are no plans for a FTL2. Um, well, I could be wrong on that, but it's as far as my knowledge is, it's not a sequel or anything. Ugh, it's one of those creepy worm things. No, this is strictly music related, um, not game related. Hmm. Uh, it is, again, not game related, just music. It, it sucks because I want, I've want i been really wanting to hype this stuff, but I can't really because I can't talk about what it is specifically. And it's been very difficult. But yes, it's it'll be something really neat. Um, there's a lot of enemies. Do I have any? I don't really have any like uh, group attacks. Well, just hit him with these. Just focused on dealing, doing damage, dealing attacks. Keep taunting. All right, Thrasher. Charge that arm cannon. So yeah, if you guys haven't um, <clears throat> haven't played Starcrawlers or, or thinking about it, it's in a really good it's in really good shape right now, and it's like pretty fun to play now. Um, definitely worth checking out, and it's only gonna get better from here on. <clears throat> Right now it's not like super challenging, like as you can see I haven't been like running out of hit points really quickly. But they're, you know, they're like continually balancing it. They've been most, mostly focusing on um, m like getting all of the skill trees done. Whispers, we haven't done that before. Yeah. Mm. 
What's his turn coming up? Turn duration. Uh, Phil Slack asks, are there any games you look forward to? Uh, I am very much looking forward to the new Fallout. <laughs> I freaking love uh, Bethesda's Fallout games. upgrade my video card for Fallout because uh, my video card is quite old. But yeah, I'm, I'm super looking forward to that. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. All the stuff I was looking forward to has come out now. Like uh, Soma's out and Mario Maker is out. So yeah, really just uh, waiting on Fallout now. I probably won't be streaming Fallout, because that's going to be like, I'm just going to be, uh, I find Fallout to be too immersive for me to stream it. Maybe uh, after I've finished it or something, I might stream it. Uh, my GPU, I really don't remember. It's uh, some NVIDIA GTX thing, 560. It's, it's quite old. The rest of my PC is much newer, but uh, it has an old video card in it, and I haven't bothered to uh, update it in a long time. All right, these guys are gross. Have you seen Megasphere? No, I have not. These guys have space mites. Okay, they've got. They have a ton of hit points. Let's charge the arm cannon. <clears throat> oh, junker. <laughs> uh, I love that you can just look at any of the character portraits and see what statuses they have, and it like. Uh, and it, uh, Describes it and gives you gives you information in like good detail so you can, you can know what's going on All right, we're going to finish off one of these guys. He's got 240. He's got 208. Let's finish him off <laughs> Nvidia Master Race really I just go to Tom's hardware and look up whatever the best video card is and for their you know their latest uh, Article on like best cards for the money and I just sort of like, I just get whatever they have there, and that's my card. Sweet hammer. Alright. Oh yeah, also, letting you guys know that from October 6th to October 20th, I will not be live streaming. Um, I am traveling, Allison and I are traveling out of state, We're going to visit our families. <clears throat> and so, uh, I will not be doing any live stream for a couple of weeks, which is, I know it really sucks, I'm not happy about it, but no choice. Oh, cool, Spax, thanks. I will take a look at that. Oh, uh, Rocket Elbow Malfunction. Oh, well, he hit a different guy. That's okay. Come toss. Okay, he's near death, so we can probably not bother with the 
arm cannon on him. Hit this guy instead. Yeah. Junker. Charge the arm cannon. Uh, maybe we'll do try to build up some void energy so we can do the charm. <laughs> One of them. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. We'll do. Yeah, so we can hit two enemies. Alright, let me see here. Let's hit... Yeah, let's hit this one in the corner. Arm cannon. Yeah. So, what are you guys playing right now? These days. Also, I think we'll probably cut it in about 15 minutes or so, around 4.30 my time. Uh, yes, I have played Soma. I've played about three hours or so of it. I really like it. Um, it's a lot more subtle and more interesting than um, than their previous game, Amnesia. Uh, there, it's very, very unsettling and has kind of a the vibe of it is very different. And I also just like the sci-fi setting better. And it looks really good. The art is really strong. And the sound design is, like, brilliant. The acting, the voice acting is, like, not the best. But it's not terrible. It's not, like, embarrassing either. But, uh, but yeah, I, I would say it's definitely worth checking out because there just aren't many games like that. You won't play anything else like it. Yeah, that's. I would definitely recommend Soma, at least based on the few hours that I played it. Maybe, you know, I don't know if it'll fall apart later or not, but. Uh, oh, there's a locker here. Oh, enemies. Uh, I will be giving out a few more download codes just before we, uh, before we finish. So, maybe, maybe right after this battle. So, stick around.
Jotun. I don't even. I've never even heard of that game. Uh, Uh, it's not a game, but I'm also looking forward to the uh, the the new Steam controller. That I'm supposed to get one next month. I played with the one at GDC, and it was like really cool. Uh, I really liked it a lot, and so I'm excited to like try it out with various games. <laughs> yeah, that Outlast ending was super weird. to do a bounty and yeah I definitely need to play more Smash Brothers I have been not playing enough of it all right hang on More download codes. So the Steam controller, um, <clears throat> it's, I think they're trying to make their own thing. I don't think it's supposed to necessarily replace anything. Um, so it's got the usual controller stuff that you would expect. I noticed that the latest versions of it had like four face buttons and like a D-pad, just like you'd expect, and shoulder buttons, but then they have those two touch pads that are that have like haptic feedback and that's supposed to act like maybe like in place of a mouse um, and they work really well like I, I played with the I played portal with one of the controllers and it felt really good um, it's it's definitely not going to be as precise as a mouse but I like the idea of playing games that I wouldn't normally play uh, at the couch, on the couch, like sitting on the couch and playing, I don't know, something that would require a mouse, like Star Crawlers or something, but with a controller. Uh, that seems kind of fun to me. Yeah, I, I think that they're uh, trying to make their own thing and not necessarily, like, uh, compete entirely with other stuff. Okay. You might have to abort mission. There's no, like, uh, save mid-mission, which I don't like. I'm going to have to talk to George about that.
Well, we've got a couple more minutes. Like, is, are you currently watching any TV series or have any favorites? I just finished season two of Orphan Black, which was pretty cool. Uh, not really watching anything right now. Uh, I watch a ton of Crash Course, which is like a YouTube series, um, which is one of my favorite things ever. Uh, but it's not really TV series in that sense. I did just recently go all the way through Buffy the Vampire Slayer from season one to seven, one through seven, um, and that was super fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I haven't really been watching anything. I watched that Man in the High Castle pilot because I'm a fan of the book, but I really did not like the pilot. But yeah, any time that I might have spent watching shows is usually spent playing video games instead. Oh, this... Boom! I think I'm gonna have to abort this mission since I can't save and quit. Go back to that exit. Ooh, stuff here though. Suspicious trash can. I never noticed that before. Mission failed. No payment. But we got some XP. Alright guys, I'm going to cut it here. So, thanks for joining. And, uh, join us uh, tomorrow. Alice and I will be playing more Resident Evil 4, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And you should definitely join us and watch it. That's going to be 6.30pm uh, Pacific Time. <laughs> There's Allison. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but she's also excited about it. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining, everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Alright, bye, guys. <laughs>